It is almost impossible for a criminal to act without leaving traces of their presence at a crime scene or collecting traces from the crime scene on their person. This concept forms one of the guiding principles of crime scene investigation. Every contact leaves a trace. The principle of every contact leaves a trace, known as Locard's principle, was developed by the Frenchman Edmund Locard. Lockhart's principle states that whenever two objects come into contact, a transfer of evidence occurs. This evidence may be an impression or mark, a physical item such as blood, ivory or animal skin, or possibly even something like a digital record such as evidence of a phone call. For example, when a poacher enters a crime scene, they may leave boot marks, but similarly, sand or mud particles are left on their boots. It is these traces that an investigator is looking for, as they can link a suspect to a crime scene and to a victim, and link the victim back to the crime scene. For example, blood may be found on the suspect that can be linked to a knife found on a crime scene, which in turn is linked to some seized bushmeat. Because every contact leaves a trace, when you as a crime scene responder enter a suspected crime scene, it is vitally important that you consider any traces you may leave as well as how you may change evidence due to your presence. This is known as contamination. Contamination is anything that changes the state of evidence after the crime has been committed and can be divided into four parts. The addition of something to a crime scene, the alteration of a piece of evidence, the removal or destruction of a piece of evidence. Contamination may be unintentional and pass unnoticed and thus can hamper any investigation. For example, a responder may add finger marks, boot marks or litter, move evidence before it has been properly documented or tread on evidence obscuring or removing it entirely. Because every contact leaves a trace, suspects should never be brought back to a crime scene as their defence can rightly claim evidence was only at the scene because they were taken to it by the officers. So when working at a suspected crime scene, the principle of every contact leaves a trace should always be in your mind to help you prevent contamination of the scene as well as consider what evidence may be present. In addition, when working at a crime scene, similar precautions used to ensure your health and safety can also help prevent contamination. But even when wearing gloves, your hands can still obscure evidence, for example by smearing finger marks. For this reason, you should not touch evidence unless you are mandated and ready to properly collect it.